Pope Francis, when faith and prayer are true, they open the mind and heart. Before starting, we invite you to like the video, that way you help us inform. This Sunday, Pope Francis, in his traditional address before the Angelus Prayer at the Vatican, offered a reflection on the importance of true faith and prayer, capable of opening both the mind and the heart. Brothers and sisters, when faith and prayer are true, they open the mind and heart, not close them. When you encounter a person whose mind and prayer are closed, that faith and prayer are not true, he said on August 11th before thousands of faithful. During his message, the pontiff called on the faithful to avoid falling into the trap of preconceived ideas and presumption, which, according to his words, can block our ability to truly listen to God and open ourselves to his grace. Beware of preconceived ideas and presumption. They have rigid frameworks, leaving no room in their hearts for what doesn't fit into them, for what they cannot catalog and archive in the dusty shelves of their certainties, he warned. The Holy Father began his reflection by commenting on the day's gospel, in which the Jews were scandalized by Jesus' claim of having come down from heaven. They are convinced that Jesus cannot come from heaven because he is the son of a carpenter, and his mother and relatives are ordinary people, known to them, normal, like so many others. How could God manifest himself in such an ordinary way, the Pope quoted, pointing out how these people were blocked in their faith. Pope Francis warned of the dangers of having a closed mind and insisted that many times, even as religious people, we perform our religious practices not so much to listen to the Lord but rather to find in them confirmation of what we think. And thus, they are not able to believe. The closed heart, how much harm it does, how much harm it does, he added. According to Pope Francis, true faith and prayer must go beyond seeking confirmation of our own ideas. Let us pay attention to all of this because sometimes the same thing can happen to us, in our life and in our prayer," he cautioned. He reiterated that this wrong approach does not help us to find God, to truly find Him, nor to open ourselves to the gift of His light and grace, to grow in goodness, to do His will, and to overcome obstacles and difficulties. Finally, the Pope invited the faithful to reflect on their life of faith, asking whether they are truly willing to listen to God beyond their own frameworks and fears. Let us ask ourselves then, in my life of faith, am I truly able to be silent within and listen to God? Am I willing to accept His voice beyond my own schemes and, with His help, also overcoming my fears?" he asked. May Mary help us to listen with faith to the Lord's voice and to courageously fulfill His will, Pope Francis concluded.